Mace, is it hot out today? Oh, but it, oh, what just happened there? That was weird. It is gonna be a scorcher today, but that's okay. We like, we got the pool out. We got the, the little pool. Like we're not doing the big pool anymore. Kinda over that. We'll let the sister-in-law handle it with the kids down there. They can have the pool and we'll just kind of partake in that. But we got the, the little kiddie pool. That should be enough for Babs and I to have some fun. Look at this garden. The tomato plants, the pepper plants, like this thing just took off. It's been warm. We've been watering because we haven't had natural water coming down. Um, so we've had to supplement it and give it some water on our own. But this is looking fantastic. Already harvested some of the cilantro. Passed that on to the cousins and the neighbors. Fantastic cilantro. Um, that's more of a cold weather thing. So we'll see if it comes back. Uh, but these tomatoes are incredible. Like they have just taken off. Raised beds are the way to go. 100%. Like, look at all the flower. Look at all of these flowers. There are going to be so many tomatoes here in a week or two. This is fantastic. I'm excited. That that just gets me excited. All right. Anyways, it is warm. It is going to be a scorcher. It's supposed to be like 91, I think. Then we got a cold spell coming, which is nice. And by cold, it's you know 70, whatever. But uh, little cold front comes in. Gonna get some spice next week. Mace, is that like the big dog bowl? You like that? You want to tell them about your fox? This morning like six o'clock you hear all this commotion in the chicken coop we just redid the, i just finally finished up the chicken coop redoing it macy goes flying off the porch i go running out you hear a chicken squawk whatever so natural thing is i grab the shotgun run over here to the coop so we added this piece on that uh neighbor chucky gave us added that on put the new little chicken door that thing is a piece of junk off the internet by the way comes from china it's doing its job but it's a piece of junk it's i don't know uh little fox comes running out of this thing i fired off two shots but that thing was quick i didn't see if it got a chicken i'm only counting 10 right now we did lose two one just randomly died and then the other one got up got snapped by a hawk so we were down to 12 so i'm missing two chickens so hopefully they're still around i don't think the fox got it it was a pretty small size fox but either way it was just chaotic this morning Mace did her job. She came out, did her barking, scared the thing off like she's supposed to. You just eating some salad right now? You having a salad bar? Yeah? Okay. She did her job. Uh, good pup. So I gotta run to I gotta run to Walmart. We gotta get some stuff. Big event tonight. Uh, very excited. We don't do a lot of stuff in the community with Fred's Roast just because we've been so busy on the weekends, usually with weddings. There is a street fair Broadway, somewhere on Broadway in Lenore City that popped up. We actually have the weekend open, so we applied for it. They accepted us. So we will be there tonight. I am very excited. So we're going to have coffee bags available. We're going to have a, a few shirts available. Babs is going to make her sweet tea, which is fantastic. It's the best, best recipe. I love her sweet tea. But I am also whipping up. That's right. We're going to be serving. Oh, we made some cold brew. We made some cold brew we're going to be serving up. I am very excited. Look at that. Yes. So that's full, almost full. We're gonna add these two to that, so that's not quite. So like I said, we're gonna have that cold brew, plus Bab's gonna have her sweet tea. Just, and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be, you know, in the, in the community, just out on the streets, Friday nights, you know. It's summer, it's gonna be scorching hot. So hopefully we'll do good, I don't know. This is gonna be my first time introducing the cold brew. We made it with our 865 roast. Um, so that'll be fun, we'll have that. That's got a couple more hours. So I gotta run to Walmart, get some small stuff. We'll get back here, finish. Um, I gotta fix a sign. We made a sign. I want Mackenzie to redo it because I don't like the wording on it. I wanna put it a different way. We got a bag of coffee. We got, we got a lot to do. There's a lot to do around here, but it's fun. This is, this is a small business. This is fun. All right, so like I said, so this, this is part of the fun of starting your own small business figuring things out on your own you're not going to know everything don't pretend to know everything you're going to figure it out but it's going to take trial and error so uh i had mackenzie write on this last night looked really good had everything written out you can still can you see it i mean it's like ghosted on there right so turns out what we had originally bought this was a while ago we've used this on quite a few things what's this assumed assumed it was a, a chalk marker even though it clearly states 
painter's permanent marker, which I only noticed this at Walmart when I just went to go get another pack because the white ran out. So acetone takes off the paint like completely. Um, but rubbing alcohol worked. We used 70%. And that got most of the paint off, but like I said, it's still ghosted on here. So these, in fact, the ones that say chalk marker are in fact chalk markers. So we're, I'm gonna have her rewrite the stuff for the event tonight on here. But what I thought I might do, is, can you still see, can you, is it ghosted? It looks like it's ghosted. So I'm gonna take regular chalk. I went and got some from the kids. Put regular chalk on here and kind of rub it in so it looks like the chalkboard's used because this is brand new. And that'll kind of, Camouflage that I hope and then we'll have Mackenzie Redo this do we use yellow or blue though? That's the thing probably this blue. This is pretty light, right? How's that look? Looks a little better, right? Like it's used, at least. Like maybe we've wrote on it a few times. I mean, it looks better, right? At least to the average person that's gonna see this that doesn't watch our YouTube channel won't know that we messed up and used a permanent marker. We'll at least look like we know what we're doing with chalk markers. I, I'm fine with it. And watch, watch how good this board looks. This kid has writing that should be a font. It should be a font that you can buy. Mace. Nice. Do we got any foxes? Have you seen any fox around here? No? Don't see any? All right. It's, this is so like, it's fun, but it's challenging. Running a small business and diving like head first into entrepreneurship, but like a different thing where you actually have a product. So like, obviously we have, we have our, our wedding wedding video company, Smoky Mountain Creative, where we video weddings and stuff. It's a little different. I've got a camera. I work behind the camera. I work with Babs. We get shots. We work with the photographers. Like, you're building and telling a story, you know, and then I'm delivering that to you. This side of things, where it's more like retail, and you actually have product. And you're not just selling someone else's product. You're selling your own product. So you have to sit there, and you have to go through, you have to make, like, Coffee, for example, this is our the, what we have to do. Like, you have bags, right? And I wanna make sure I have enough bags of coffee. I don't wanna sell out, but then I also don't wanna make too much. So gauging, gauging like where, like how much do we do? How many bags do we make? How much do I roast? How much do I hold on to? So that way the online store still has stock in it or future orders have stock in it because there's gonna be a delay in between ordering beans um, because you know, we've got some stuff coming up and it gets a little clunky, right? So this is all, like, there is nothing easy about being a small business owner or entrepreneur, whatever you want to call it. This is, this has by far been one of the biggest challenges, but I absolutely love it because it's so unpredictable. Like, no two days are the, the same. Like, it's always, it's always sometimes fly by the seat of your pants. Sometimes it's planned. But no two days are the same because you never know what, what issue is gonna come up, what fire you're gonna have to put out, what day is gonna be excellent and your store is gonna have amazing sales and then you're gonna go a week without any sales. Now you put inflation on top of it. People can barely put gas in their car. How am I supposed to expect someone to buy a $13 bag of coffee when they can barely put gas in their tank or feed their child or put food on their family table, right? Like, and 13, like, I'm trying not to raise my price of bags, even though other coffee people have, because the price of beans have gone up. Transportation has gone up. Like, it's, it is crazy. But this is so fun. Like, I absolutely love this. Like, and it's fun because Babs and I get to do it together. My mother-in-law's coming to help us tonight, so it's kind of like the whole family gets involved somehow. And it's fun, because you're... You start to meet people and you're selling and you meet the customers and everybody's happy and say how much they love coffee and love what you're doing and it just motivates you to do more. But this is what I, I wanna show more of this, the struggle, because for some reason, 
people think it's easy. People think just because you get some money or something, you can start a business. And I think that's why they say, you know, whatever that percentage is of businesses fail within the first year, you got to want it. You got to love what you do. You got to have your heart and soul poured into it if you want it to happen. And I'm not saying we have anything figured out or anything's happening, but I feel good how things are going right now. And little events like this get me excited. So that's why I want to document all this. I'm going to show you every mistake I make, every everything we do, because there is no right or wrong way to do things. You're not going to know everything out of the gate. And I know people are going to get frustrated. Nobody has it figured out. Don't let them fool you, okay? Nobody has this game figured out. Okay, that stuff needs to go in there. Both cold brew and sweet tea are brewing in there. Plenty of coffee. We have coffee, 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 coffee. We got the ice chest clean out. We can't have enough ice today, I don't think. That's gonna be a problem, is keeping ice. We gotta go get change. I always forget about that. Like, we need to go get change from the bank, so that way we have plenty of ones, and everyone loves to, you know, buy something for a dollar and give you a 20, which it is what it is. Okay, so remember I told you Mackenzie, like, has font writing? Look at this. Look at that writing. Like, I could never, ever, ever do that. That looks good though, right? I think it came out just fine. Did make a couple extra bags, just because I'm paranoid like that, and I don't want to run out, but then also, I need to make sure I have enough for orders that are coming up. So, whoo, that is it. Oh, man, stressful. This is stressful. Bab should be home soon. She'll help me gather the rest of this. We'll pack up. We'll head to Lenore City. We got to go to the bank, get ice, and then we'll see where things go. All right, packed. Truck is packed, ready to go. We need to go to the bank and get change. We need to go get ice from the ice place. Mace, you're killing me, girl. You are killing me. So I think she's gone in a couple times and she goes straight to the couch where Tink used to lay. I think she's just super depressed. Like she knows Tink is gone now and she's just, that's like her way of mo mourning, I guess. Hey. Hey. I'm talking to you. Mace. Macy. Hey. Hi. Are you just sad right now? I honestly think she's just so sad. I think both dogs are depressed. Hey, girl, you want a treat? Mace, you want to get a treat? Come on. <laughs> Nothing. She'll take a treat though. That's crazy, huh? Really weird that they're that depressed. But I guess it makes sense. We're gonna do this. Ready to do this. Another little street fest for Fred's Roast. This time you don't get uh, fluff and stuff. Nope. So we're going to take some hot coffee too, just to sample. We got little Dixie cups. We did it a Richie cream and it was a hit. People liked it. That's a really good um, hit. Because it's cool. You could try the coffee before you buy it. This we're only doing Fred's Roast. The cold brew is 865. So. And then we made some sweet tea. Yeah. I was talking about your sweet tea. Your sweet tea is excellent. So. All right, downtown Lenore City, got our spot. We're just waiting for them to close the street. Then we get set up. It's setting up in the middle, so it's kind of awkward, but we'll figure it out. But they have a La Michoacana right here on the corner. Oh my goodness, I have not had one of these in, it's been three years since California. Um, they're so good. I don't know, I don't know the official name. Mangonade, Mangonade, I guess if you're in Tennessee. Uh, but oh, so good. All right, look at that. Bam. Officers here, streets closed. We're gonna go set up. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have waited on getting the ice cream before we, until we were set up. It was just melting, but it's delicious. Hey, you ladies are quick. All right, that's that's not gonna be annoying now, is it? Anyways, all set up ready to go be nice if the breeze kind of chilled a little bit but that's all right we'll do we'll, we'll go with it we're fine what'd you ask for bud light we ain't got no bud light old man yeah. of course he'd show up ask for a bud light are you drinking coffee are you drinking coffee what are you working under here oh. 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 
guys are a mess. These kids are just cracking me up with all their sweets. So it's been good. We sold some coffee. The cold brew has been a hit, and Babs's sweet tea has been a hit too. Um, but we gotta get better signage. We have to get better signage. I need to get one of those easy up covers that has all the branding on it and stuff, and then eventually do tablecloths, but one step at a time, honestly. What'd you get, Babs? Pork sandwiches. Oh my goodness. I know how. Oh, more. Are you sad too? Are you sad just like the Macy baby? Are you missing Tinks? All right, that is a wrap. That was fun. That was good. It was a good turnout. Uh, they got another one next month we're going to do. Um, that was a blast. Uh, thank you to everyone that came and support, supported us. Um, it's always fun. It got really hot. Like It got humid. That, that breeze went away. and whew, Time to go to bed. We have a big week ahead of us. I'm excited. Does that taste good? That's it for me. It's Tennessee, y'all.